Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview is out, but not really it seems. LG announces the F-Series to be showcased at MWC, and a successful petition is ready for the White House regarding carrier unlocks. I'm Jaime Rivera, and how dare you make carrier unlocks illegal? This is Pocket Now Daily. So yeah, LG went ahead and took the wraps off their new F-Series, but buyers beware. If you were expecting a high-end smartphone, don't look at the F-Series. Apparently these devices are the new F-Series to supersede the L-Series in the past, which wasn't really that hot. You'd probably want to look at the Optimus G Pro or any other devices that are out there, but sadly, well, we'll keep you posted. The devices will be available at the MWC show floor. Michael and Anton are already there, so expect hands-ons very soon. And speaking of MWC, Samsung seems to be planning to showcase a new TV discovery service for mobile devices where if you obviously have a Samsung phone and a Samsung TV, you can pretty much watch TV a la carte and select it on your device. Now sadly, it's kind of interesting that they're leaving this for MWC since CES was more of a show floor for that, but stay tuned. Obviously, Anton and Michael will have a look at that. And yes, Google Drive just got better. Those of you that noticed that there's an application update available already will know that you get video streaming now. And aside from that, you also get pinch to zoom on the presentations. Now, it still isn't the spreadsheet solution that I wish it was, but at least it's getting better over and over again on mobile devices. So make sure you hit the update, it doesn't hurt to have it. And then let's move on to Ubuntu, who just reached developers on their new preview for Nexus devices, which is cool, right? Uh, well, sadly, no. If you're planning on loading Ubuntu to your Nexus device, make sure it's not your daily driver. As for example, the first thing is data does not work. If you want data on your device, you're pretty much stuck on Wi-Fi on the original developer preview. And aside from that, Nexus 4 users are complaining about the fact that they've had to take apart their phone, remove the battery, which is non-removable, and then set it back because the device hangs, and there's just no way to fix that. So, way to go, Ubuntu. We've got a lot of coverage coming up on everything. So if I were you, I would stay tuned for Taylor's videos. Just have a look at the device, have a look at how it works, and make sure it's right for you before you load it. And finally, for the yes news of the day, the petition for the White House regarding carrier unlocks is ready. You know that there's a goal that has to be reached in order for the petition to even be read by the White House, and that number has already been met before the date that was set, which was February 23rd. Now, this obviously does not guarantee that carrier unlocks will be legal for any device that was built after January 26th, but stay tuned. Obviously, this is a step in the right direction, but that leads me to the question of the day. How much do you rely on carrier unlocks? In my particular case, every Every single device that I have and own required an unlock at some point, so leave us a comment down below. Do you need it? I do. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. We've got a ton of Ubuntu coverage coming up.